for all that. Let's take a look now and you voice your vote in the House and Senate. Okay, as we came into last night in the vote, this is the balance of power with the House as we came in. Democrats with a huge advantage. The Democrats were hoping to even increase that by 10 to 15 more. And here's where we stand right now. Obviously, the Democrats did not increase their margin. And this is where it sits right now. Obviously, we still have some votes yet to go. But this is how it looks like it's going to shake out with the House. Balance of power. Let's go to 2018 in the U.S. Senate. As we came into the election, the Republicans with an advantage of 53-45. That's really 53-47. Two independents uh, do generally caucus with the Democrats, including Bernie Sanders. So that basically is a 53 to 47 as we came into it. How does it stand as we look right now? Um, the Democrats had hoped to take over the Senate, especially if Joe Biden was the president. But as we're looking at right now, it appears that the, uh, the GOP will hold on to the Senate advantage. And that's where it stands right now. So that's a look at where all things are happening with a we don't know who's going to win for president.